Morton. I've been joined by Major Mohammad Ali Shah to put in more inputs on this. A very good morning, uh, uh, sir. You know, Gilgit is suffering and the dignity of living is denied and Imran is silent. Sir, what is your opinion on this? See, I am not surprised by the fact that Imran Khan was silent on it because one thing Pakistan actually has always lacked is leadership. Their leadership is very poor and of course authorities know of it. There is no water supply, the lack of education. That is the reason why Pakistan is in the state it is in today. It is already in the great lift of FATF. It doesn't seem very concerned about it. Though I'm sure they would be concerned, but it doesn't seem like it. They are fighting Corona, they are in debt. The US, it was unpredictable whether they would continue supporting them or not. And this country repeatedly promotes terrorism. They focus only on terrorism. They focus on what's happening in the neighbor's window rather than paying attention in what's happening in their own house. So I am really not surprised that women are being suppressed. They, their right of getting education is being taken away from them. For the sake of education, they go to school but they are no teacher over there. What's the point? I mean, I think they are digging their own grave at the end of the day. They are into money laundering. They are into a whole lot of things, a whole lot of nefarious activities. And I feel sorry for the fact that our neighboring country is doing all that. It is really, really sad to see all this. And I, frankly, am not surprised. It doesn't come as a surprise to me because Imran Khan Niazi's government is slowly going to collapse, I think. It's time to reclaim this area. I totally agree with you. It's about time. It's high time, in fact, that you know this. Because if you see logically and uh, rationally, that area belongs to us. And Pakistan has always been a very bigoted society. They do not only discriminate against their minority, but also they are too self centered, but yet they are going nowhere. So it's about time we actually should reclaim this area. What happened in 1999? These people very slyly slipped over to our land. And despite all that, they refuse to honor their, their soldiers' dead body. So I think a nation like this, which does not even respect its uh, soldiers, General Parvez Musharraf initially denied that the, any infiltration from their side of their soldiers had taken place. And look at the coordination. The Air Force and Navy and the state government and the, and the central government didn't even know of it for that matter. So the military had quietly moved in. Now it's about time we should actually reclaim that area. If you look, you look at Baluch, Baluchistan in Pakistan, they are demanding for a separate state. Pakistan is in sad, sad state of affairs. So of course, Gilgit and Baluchistan, that is a part of um, uh, Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Pakistan will continue to give them the step motherly treatment. It's about time we reclaim them back and give them the right what they deserve. Because I personally feel it can also become a human right issue if Pakistan continues to go, go on like this. What exactly is Pakistan doing? You know, uh, Rita, just uh, I'll just digress for 30 seconds and I'll tell you. In 1999, when we had captured the Pakistani soldiers, first thing we did with them was we had given them water to drink. We gave them respect as soldiers. But what did these people do? They only mutilated our bodies of our soldiers, of our brave hearts and sent them back. I think it's utterly disgusting and shameful. It's inhuman. Now, what they are doing is really ridiculous. And water is something which, uh, which has to be, it's a basic component of our life. I mean, they are infecting water and it's really sad. And my heart bleeds for people from Gijar and Pakistan to see the sorry state of affairs that they are doing. And as you rightly pointed out, it's about time that we go and reclaim back our territory and our own people. Well, these people, they do not know how to respect human beings for that matter. Right. Uh, May, uh, Major Mohammed Ali Shah, uh, concluding comments on this. My concluding comments on this would be that, you know, if these people want... To, it's a basic common thing which is taught to all of us in our school when we educated. That treat people as you would like to be treated. It's as simple as that. So now if Pakistan... And it's all karma. It all comes back to you. And that is the reason why their leadership always fails because they do not look after their people. They are there in power. Pick any for, for that matter, any country, the political figures are in power because of the people. There's democracy there, like for example in India. Now in Pakistan, they are in power because the terrorists support them. Imran Khan came into power because of the help of Khalil, who has links with the Al-Qaeda, who had helped fund his elections. The whole world knows of this. So now, when a government like that comes in place, which is funded by terrorists and not 
by the people who are people are not supporting them. It is not a democracy. It's a it is a republic of I mean it is it's really shameful and I think really for the sake of humanity Pakistan should take a call and wake up for uh, for the sake of humanity at least if, if not for its own people because they obviously are not concerned about the people. I thank uh, Major Mohammad Ali Shah for joining us on the broadcast with all his inputs. Uh